Hello everyone, uh, the time has come for me to make a wiki recap. Uh, in this video we are going to check how uh, the plan I shared with you last week uh, developed, uh, if we had any opportunities to take trades on them, on it, and of course uh, how did the trades work out. So without further ado let's get started. Uh, last week I shared with you a uh, trading plan on the USD CAD currency pair. Uh, this is the plan itself posted on TradingView and uh, the plan was made on uh, the one hour time frame. A uh, few things about the plan. Uh, first of all, uh, the price here reached this weekly resistance area uh, from where I expected uh, the pair to bounce and to make a new uh, downtrend wave. You can see that uh, here uh, I had an H4 downtrend support. Uh, so if we uh, saw a drop here, this would be our first target area. Uh, this green line uh, represents uh, a previous stop made by the price. So uh, what I was hoping for and what I was looking for most importantly was a break of this uh, previous stop and then a continuous down wave to this uh, H4 downtrend support. Uh, the green line represents, although you cannot see it here, uh, it is a trend line and you can see that uh, the uh, when the plan was posted, uh, the price was just below the weekly resistance area and this trend line. Let's see how the plan developed. As you can see, uh, it continued for quite a while to move between this previous top, the trend line and the weekly resistance before breaking it. Uh, then we saw a uh, retracement back uh, above this uh, line again and a new downtrend wave reaching to this uh, support area which was our first target. So uh, I might say that the plan worked great so far. I managed to share with you one live sign -up. Unfortunately uh, we got our stop loss hit and then I wasn't able to share any more sign based on this plan with you. Overall, last week was uh, not so good regarding trading. Uh, we had two or three losing trades, but uh, this week we have geared up. Uh, I've already shared two live signals with you, and uh, hopefully they will be uh, they will bring us a lot more profits. Let's just check the live signal I shared with you on the USD CAT, and if you want to see the others, you can join our Telegram channel. Uh, they are posted there. As you can see, this is the uh, M30 time frame where we took the trade. Uh, this was our entry point after the price uh, dropped heavily and broke through that uh, level, which was the previous top and uh, kind of a support level, as you can see. Uh, then we had a move down in our direction, so we had uh, made some profit here. Our stop loss was placed uh, way, way above uh, this level. Uh, I was expecting for this level to act as a resistance one broken and uh, on Friday last week you can see we had a huge surge in price. Uh, this was caused due to the uh, NFP report and uh, unemployment report coming from US. Uh, here there is a lesson for all of us uh, when you see that um, there is a strong chance for a reversal or like uh, if there are any news, uh, news reports on the economic calendar, it is always better to close part of your position, especially if you're in profit and uh, leave the rest floating with a stop loss at break even. In this way, uh, you will be protecting your investment and your capital. Uh, we didn't do such thing here and our stop loss got hit. Uh, if we have closed like 60 to 70 percent somewhere here, we would have been in profit. Nevertheless, uh, there were a few other chances for an entry uh, somewhere here after this uh, consolidation was broken. As you can see, the trade was going to be pretty good. I hope you managed to catch on that. Uh, and that's all on this uh, trade. Now, turning on the H1. I just want to see and make some future predictions. Obviously here is the, where the plan was posted. 
Obviously, we saw a bounce on the weekly time frame. Sorry, that's the monthly one. So the weekly one. We had a bounce from the weekly resistance area so far. Uh, you can see that the price is currently forming a huge bearish candle, which is engulfing the previous bullish one. So my expectations are for this downtrend to continue, especially if the weekly uh, candle breaks this uh, previous top here. Um, going down on the H4, we can see that uh, this is a strong level. Uh, the price started hesitating. If we see a break here, we can continue looking for sell opportunities all the way down to here somewhere, which will be the next H4 uh, support. And turning on the H1, and I'll turn on the Bollingers, you can see that currently we're having a squeeze here by the Bollinger Bands, so um, this can give us a great opportunity if we see uh, the price breaking both this uh, squeeze and uh, the H4 level, H4 support. So here would be a great spot to enter and this will be the target. Now again, uh, you can try to buy uh, the pair here if the ceiling of this squeeze is broken and the price goes up. It's a good idea. You should look for uh, take profit levels somewhere either here or at the very top over here. That's all on this plan. We will continue monitoring it. Uh, there is a good chance that we will squeeze out more uh, some profits out of it. So uh, join the Telegram channel for Live Signals. I will post uh, Live Signals based on this plan also on Twitter. Uh, today I shared a new trading plan and I already posted a Live Signal based on it. Uh, check it out, it's a very long-term uh, trading plan, so you can catch the train even later. Thank you very much for the attention. Uh, our team wishes you a profitable week.